All right, so today's video is something a little bit different. We are going vlog mode and specifically with the Lumex S5 fully auto focus on the face tracking. This might be an absolute nightmare, but the goal here is five minutes straight, no cuts to give you guys an understanding of kind of what it would look like with autofocus on this particular camera. Now I wanna take in consideration, or you guys at least take in consideration that we are using their kit lens, the 20 to 60. I wanna say it's an F3.5 to 5.6. Now this lens pretty much just is included when you buy this camera. I think I actually paid maybe $200 for it but it gives me autofocus capabilities, it's native, and I think it's a good example of what you're gonna be able to get out of this camera. So we're inside because, hold on, I might as well just go ahead and show you guys. It is here in sunny Florida, it is raining. So I thought I was gonna take you guys outside, but instead we're just gonna do this test all inside, five minutes straight, no cuts, but that's the reason we won't be going outside, particularly in this video. Now, let's go ahead and maybe make our way to a new portion, a little bit of a new scenery and see how the camera performs with that autofocus. So moved over to the desk area and we're just gonna do a little bit of an adjusting there and boom. Now I know that you guys can probably obviously tell whether it be with this camera or we'll make that quick cut to this camera over here. You can see that we do have some lighting in the studio environment. Now that, now that being said, we're shooting 24 frames per second, 10 bit, 4K, and yeah, autofocus completely. Now, as far as ISO goes, shooting ISO 400, and I'm just gonna keep that locked in, and there you go. But this is at that 20 millimeters, and you're probably wondering how it's functioning. And I'm trying not to look over at the LCD too much or our little like flip screen. I'd rather just go dead in the screen and give you guys what it's gonna be looking like here. And if we bring it up close, woo, I have no idea. We'll glance over there. Okay, I guess it did it. And then we'll kind of maybe make our way to a little bit of a different scenery here where we go up. See how it functions coming in, boom. And if I'm even gonna do some zooming in real quick, how is it functioning for you guys? You guys be the ones to drop the comment in the comment section below in regards to how you think it's functioning so far. Now, I think one thing that's gonna be a game changer is gonna be you need to make sure you have enough light. And of course, I've got my light source right there. Trying not to look at that screen too much, just looking dead in the center of that lens. And that's gonna give you a fighting chance because if it was completely pitch black, I'd be very surprised if this camera could hold its own. But we will then make our way over here. So we're in the dark at this point. And this is where, oh, I can already tell it's starting to, okay. It's starting to have a little bit of issue. But the goal here, once again, is just to keep rolling to give you guys that example. Oh, is it coming back? Oh, it's struggling. There it is. Okay. So from just what I just saw here, that was a little scary, but it's to be expected with these Panasonic cameras that autofocus is not going to be the reason that you buy this camera. The reason that I bought this camera is going to be the video resolutions, all the capabilities that it has, the IBIS and the full frame. And it just honestly looks pretty damn solid in my book. Now, that being said, if and I'm going to be seeing this video just like you guys for the first time. I'm interested to see how this autofocus is working on that face tracking just for sheer vlog mode using this dirt cheap lens. And yeah, I mean, you guys can kind of see here, we make that one quick cut over the GH5 and then back here we are. This is kind of what the setup is. The Lumex S5 in 2022 with the cheapest possible lens you could really put on here. You know what, we'll even end. Oh no, our audio. Hopefully that didn't jack it up. My lavalier mic literally just almost fell out of there. You guys, here it is. But uh, reaching that four minute, 47 seconds, and we're kind of back where we started. But that is hopefully roughly what I consider five minutes straight with autofocus in a studio environment, I know. 
but uh, I look forward to taking this whole uh, setup outside as well, giving you guys an understanding of how it functions with autofocus. Because, you know, if this cheap lens works well enough, it makes me confident that if I were to go out there and buy another like native piece of glass, whether it be Lumex or maybe Sigma, L mount, uh, that the autofocus features would be pretty solid. And I'm sure one of these days Lumex is gonna give us an update. And I think that'll probably change everything. So guys, Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content we keep creating here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hopefully I don't break my camera like it might have just done there in a second. All right, five minutes. Oh, it's over five minutes. Sorry guys. Goal was five, I think we hit six. All right, autofocus test, I'm out.